the current topic that we are doing deals with the graphical representation of statistical data so in the previous videos we were doing bar graphs that is one of the ways of the graphical representation of a statistical data now we have another type of representing statistical data in graphical form which is called as histogram so in this video let us look into what is a histogram so what is a histogram a histogram or frequency histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution in the form of rectangles with class intervals as basis and heights proportional to corresponding frequencies such that there is no gap between any two successive rectangles. I'll also try to explain the same definition with the help of an example. So consider the following example. So this is a typical histogram. Now don't worry about this one. This one is just an indication that 1 to 50 lies between this because there is no histogram uh, needed to be drawn here so we stayed away sort of from 50 so that is the thing so that's why we use this so now what do you think this represents how different is this from the bar graphs this is very different from the bar graph because if you see the first bar represents now the y-axis is the number of persons and the x-axis the weight in kg so the first bar graph corresponds to 12 person and you can see the width of the histogram is 50 to 55 so that means 12 persons are in the range of weights between 50 and 55 and if you see here 8 persons are between the weights 55 and 60 here if you see there are around 5 people between the weights 60 and 65 and here if you see 4 people between the weights 65 and 70 and if you see here another 5 people between the weights 70 and 75 and so on so this is how histogram is different from bar graph now reading this again will make a lot more sense a histogram or a frequency histogram is a graphical representation of a frequency distribution in the form of rectangles with class intervals as basis you can see the class intervals are bases here the class interval is 5 5 5 and so on so that is the base the width of the base is given by the class interval and heights proportional to the corresponding frequencies now between 50 and 55 we've got heights proportional to corresponding frequency there are 12 people so this particular bar here in the histogram corresponds or points to 12 people such that there is no gap between any two successive rectangles so this is all about histogram now there are various types in histogram such as the first one is a continuous grouped frequency distribution with equal class intervals and then the second type of frequency distribution would be a continuous grouped frequency distribution with unequal class intervals then another type of frequency distribution we have here is a frequency distribution in which midpoints of class intervals are given and the final type of frequency distribution would be a grouped frequency distribution in which class intervals are given an in inclusive form so this this video is a introduction to histogram and what is it and a typical example of an histogram graph and the different types of frequency distributions for which we draw histograms so in the forthcoming video let us start off with drawing histograms or constructing histograms for the continuous grouped frequency distribution with equal class intervals and go on with the rest of the three types of frequency distribution.